Hello, choir members. I am here to teach you about my newest tool, Sound Slice. Uh, we are looking at the GIPC choir website on my iPad, and um, I'm going to hit refresh just to make sure I have the latest version of the web page. I'm going to scroll down. Here are our next three anthems. And then for the fourth anthem, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, which I chose because it uses the Nimrod uh, tune hymn, um, which we're focusing on, on Lent, um, I've used a thing called Sound Slice that the church purchased for me. And I am going to show you how to use this tool to help you practice. So looking at the bottom of the, the gray bar uh, towards, the, towards the right, there's a box with the, the lines out of the sides. It looks like a target box. Um, and we're going to touch that. That's going to bring us to the full screen interface. So I see I have tenor, bass, organ, bass. let's just listen to what we have. Um, so we heard that the uh, organ played and then the tenor and bass played and then here at measure six it opened up where the four full parts are there because the altos and sopranos join in measure eight. Now I want to show you how to make this easier for you to read and I'm going to touch next to where it says powered by sound slice. I'm going to touch the little mixer icon and it brings up this interface. At the top we have volume, which is the whole volume for the project, but right below that we have instruments. So we have soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and then three organ parts. Uh, the third organ part is the pedal. So I'm gonna take off that pedal, and then I just want to focus on learning the uh, bass part. So I'm going to remove soprano, alto, and tenor, and you'll see that I am looking at just those parts that I want to listen to. Now I see that I have a playhead that's at measure eight, and I, I want to if I want to move that playhead back, um, I don't want to touch the screen to do it. I want to find the yellow bar at the bottom of the screen right above the play button, and I'm going to move that around. Okay, so I'm gonna move it back to measure six here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, we'll go back to measure four. All right, and now I'm gonna press play. Let's see what we hear. we're no longer hearing the tenor part because it's not there. And so what you see is what you get. Now I'm gonna go back to my mixer and I wanna adjust the volume. I think that the organ is just a little bit loud and there's two tracks of organ. So I'm gonna select the top track of organ. There's a little uh, thing that looks like the settings bottom at the, uh, uh, the mixer at the bottom. That's our settings. And we're gonna just adjust the volume of that down to, let's play it while we do it. Okay. Let's try that Okay. Now I've got harmonic context, but my heart is coming out strong. In this way, I hope you will be able to navigate this score on your phone, on your computer, on your iPad. Um, feel free to email me if you have any questions. Good luck.